Long-term care facilities are among the most impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. I spoke with the chair of the Senate Family Care and Aging Committee, Senator Karen Housley. The majority of COVID-19 deaths are happening in long-term care facilities. As of Tuesday, May 5th, almost 85% of those who've died were elderly in long-term care facilities. Why is this? Um, thanks so much for having me, Shannon. Uh, it's good to see you. Um, you know what it is? It's a very scary situation for residents in long-term care facilities, for their families and for the caregivers. Um, first, they're in a congregate setting. So it's, it's like they're all living in an apartment building and they have shared dining areas and they have shared activity areas. Now all of that is stopped and they, they all have been quarantined to their own uh, specific rooms. But at these long-term care facilities, the staff that's working there, we know the residents aren't bringing it in there because they haven't been allowed to go anywhere in over six weeks. So you definitely know it's the staff. And, and since this disease, you're asymptomatic. So almost 50% of the people don't even know they have the disease. And these staff caregivers don't just work at one facility. They go between other facilities, whether it's um, food delivery or housekeeping or uh, other sort of services that have to do with healthcare. So if these staff members don't know they have it and they're continuing to work with the elderly and going between facilities, that's how they're getting it. So I have asked the governor and, and commissioner Malcolm to get enough testing and let's test the staff for either if they have the antibodies or if they um, have the disease or any size, sign of the disease. Because right now they're only testing residents who show signs of the symptoms. So we really have to get that staff tested to make sure that everybody that's coming in contact with the elderly doesn't have it or it has the antibodies. Well, let's take a step back just for a moment. Because I wonder, is the pandemic sort of illuminating problems that maybe already exist in how the state manages long-term care? I think what it's really illuminating is the shortage of staff that they have. They had that even before the pandemic. And now with this, this uh, heightened fear, um, some staff have left. They just walked away. So I think that's always been a problem. We've talked about that. Um, but and now when it comes to the assisted living licensure, um, the Minnesota Department of Health actually needs to have an extension because they're so overwhelmed. All of their staff that was working on the licensure language has had to move over to the COVID-19 um, uh, to be working on that. So there, there is a lot of issues, but I think the number one thing is to make sure that we have enough staff in our long-term care facilities. Now, as the state, there's the guy working on my interviews. <laughs> as the state does continue to move towards reopening, which is very likely, um, what needs to be done going forward to ensure the safety of people in long-term care facilities? Um, yeah, going forward, I think it's it's going to be a while before anybody's ever going to feel safe in long-term care facilities. Uh, the staff is doing a wonderful job, the best they can. But this darn disease, it it, it really does. Um, attack old people. And so I think they're going to have to continue with these measures and continue testing staff and make sure that the staff does have the antibodies. That's going to be very important. And then once they test positive for the antibodies and they, they no longer can carry the disease, then they can move into that column that they're safe to work with our elderly. So I think that's what we have to do to continue. And there will always be new measures now, new safety measures in these long-term care facilities that they've learned as they've gone through this disease. But as families have family members in these facilities, is it just going to be something that we have to get used to as a society, like limited visits or um, screenings for, you know, family members to visit an elderly person who's in a long term? Is that going to change for the foreseeable future? In the in the near future, I hope I hope we can go back to the, the visiting your parent four times a day if you wanted to. And if they still have to do a temperature check when you get there. Um, fine, so be it. But I am I am so hoping that we don't have to stay in this sort of uh, scary time. There's my husband going to the lake. <laughs> I love this Zoom stuff. Um, but no, I hope that um, I hope we can get back to somewhat normal and people can feel comfortable. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to have to do absolutely everything to make sure that those residents and the staff in our long-term care facilities and nursing homes are kept safe. Senator Housley, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon.